Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good too. Good, I'm happy to hear that. How was your weekend? Um, a little busy. Really, why? Because I had working in my house. Oh, okay, you had to work in your house. Yes. Every weekend or just um, part of the weekend? Uh, on, on Saturday and Sunday, almost all day. Really? Yes. Wow, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. But it's not every, every weekend. It's just... No, it's only for this weekend because I, I am making a um, uh, making a uh, uh, um, making something with the with a bank and oh okay the, and, and they asked me to to present a, a, a financial state a financial statement uh-huh and i said uh -huh. correct uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes and for that i had to hurry with this because of that the, because yes because of that mm, okay well so it's not always that's not a that's not always the case like it's just just this weekend that was like um something out of the ordinary Yes, yes, I, I, I finished the Sunday at 6 p.m. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, that's very late. Uh, yes, I had to work, to work hard. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, sometimes it happens, right? The good thing is that it's not every, every weekend, right? It's just uh, you know, events that happen here and there, right? So, yes. yeah, okay. well, um, and, and, uh, did you finish the, what you had to do? Yes. Yes. I finished all. Good. I finished everything. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So you are ready. To, yes. And, and this week, um, is it going to be a busy week at work? I hope no. I hope uh, I I can I can rest. Yeah, that would be that would be the ideal thing, right? If you could rest a little bit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I see. And um, and so um, normally, on what do you do on the weekend? Uh, normally, I, 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 I don't know. I watch TV and, and I know some some kind of uh, fix something in my house, and I don't know. Uh, normally, I play soccer the Saturday afternoon. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Okay, well, hopefully next weekend you can do all of those things, right? Yes. Yeah, that would be the ideal thing. Hi, Barbara, how are you? Very well, thank you. What about you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. How was your thank weekend? You. Uh, well, well, very, very busy because I went to I went to Apaneca with my family. Uh huh. And on Sunday, well, my mom came from San Miguel. Okay. And we went on Saturday. To Apaneca and Sunday I had to take her to the terminal 
to the bus stop. To the bus, the bus station. Bus station, right. Oh, you had to go to the bus station. Okay, okay. And, and uh, where is your mom from? She's from Samuel. Well, I am from Samuel too. Ah, okay. You are also from Samuel. Okay. All right. Hi, Grace. Yes, I grew up. Ah, okay. Okay, good. So, so how long ago did you come? Oh, well, where are you? Where, are you living in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, how long ago did you come to a San Salvador? Around 15 years. Oh, yeah, okay. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. But I, but I always, I always go to San Miguel, uh, like once for month, once per month. Oh, okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Grace, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, just uh, ready, ready to, for to start the week. Yes, nah, today has been a, a, I think a really good day uh, good. for me. And I've been in a in a workshop uh, all day in Zoom, but um, it has been um, very uh, productive and dynamic. So uh, I didn't feel. Uh, how quick the time passed by. So I think it's okay. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, good. Josue, how are you today? Hello. Hi. Uh, well, um, very good. Uh, it's uh, It was a good day. Good, what did you do today? Oh, well, basically, Normally on Monday, I have a lot of meetings, but today I think it was an exception. So it was a, a little bit relaxed today for oh, me. Oh, good, good, mm -hmm. yeah. Especially Mondays, Mondays are usually, well, when people, normally yeah. people say Monday is like the worst day of the week, right? So, so it's good that you were able to just relax a little bit during the, um, during the Monday. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Um, so what we're going to do right now, uh, we're actually going to start um, the class because it's a Monday and we want to um, have a little bit of, of fun and just um, get into the spirit of English. What we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. But for this game, I need you to do me to uh, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to write down in your notebook three activities that you did this weekend. Any three activities that you did this weekend. So quick, 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 we're just gonna, I'm gonna give you about, you know, a minute. Shouldn't take you very long. Three activities that you did this weekend. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Yeah? Who needs more time? Nobody? No. 
Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is, um, like I said, we're going to play a little game. So uh, for this, I'm going to show you my PowerPoint. Okay, just let's, are you guys, can you see anything on the screen right now? Not yet. Not yet? But it's starting to share? Yeah. Right now, I guess. Okay, let me know when you see the PowerPoint. I can see it sometimes. I can. You can see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, so today, well, we are in the advanced number two. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's day number nine. Can you imagine? It's already day number nine. It's incredible. Okay, and uh, today is Monday, October 5th, uh, 2020. Oh, hold on. Give me a second because... It's giving me this notification. The PowerPoint isn't working properly. Hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't close on us. Okay. All right, anyways. Um, all right, so it's uh, day number nine and today is Monday, October 5th, 2020. It's incredible, it's already October. Okay, so what's gonna happen, guys, I do not want you to change your um, information that I asked you to write. Okay, so every, oops. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Okay, can you guys see the, the, the conversation? Yes? Okay. Yes. All right, good. So we're going to have like a, a conversation there with our classmates. Uh, we're going to um, we're going to talk to different classmates, and we're uh, we're going to choose different classmates, and we're going to go like this. And you guys, don't change your answers. Okay, this is important. Don't change your your sentence. Okay? The activities that you did on the weekend, don't change them. Just say, uh, "Hi, don't I know you from somewhere?" That's going to be the first person that's going to speak. And they're going to choose someone. So, for example, if I was the first person, and I would choose, I don't know, uh, Barbara, for example, and I would say, uh, and so I, I would say, Barbara, and, hi, don't I know you from somewhere? And then Barbara would say, No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. And then I would say, You don't remember me? Last weekend we, and then you say, and then you say one of the activities that you that you did on the weekend. So you can say, last weekend we uh, cooked lasagna and we went to a, um, I don't know, a club. I don't think it's uh, it's possible because they're they're closed right now. <laughs> but just imagine, um, and we um, played soccer at the park together. And then Barbara would say, oh yes, now I remember remember you. Okay, so the activities that you're gonna mention are the activities that you did on the weekend with, uh, or better said, you're gonna, yeah, the activities that you did on the weekend. So independent of who it is, who the person is, um, and you know, even if you don't know them very well, you're gonna just mention the activities that you did. Okay, does that make sense? Guys? 
Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. All right. Yes, exactly. Remember I told you, don't change your activities, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to start with Grace. Grace, you can start being letter A, and you can choose who's going to be letter B. Okay. And well, I, I choose um, Jesus, but I don't see her. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah, I'm okay. here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good evening. Hi, don't I know you from somewhere, Jesus? No, I'm sorry. I don't remember you. You don't remember me? But last weekend, uh, we baked some pizza at my house. And then we watched uh, Netflix with our friends. Oh, yes. No, I remember you. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, remember, it's now I remember you. Okay, now I remember you. Good. Okay, excellent, Jesus. All right, go ahead and choose somebody next. Who's who's next? Um. Uh, Barbara. Barbara. Okay. Um. We start. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Yo, Joseph. Hey. Jose. Okay. Uh, hi, don't I know you from somewhere? No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. You don't remember me? But last weekend we ate and we, um, we, we ate and we walked and no. Last week we ate and, and you ate what? And and we we eat and we pizza and we, we work we together. Ate. Oh Sorry? yes. Jesus, Jesus, did we eat or we ate? Ate. Comimos. Uh -huh. We ate what? Pizza. Mm -hmm. And we walked together. And one more, three activities. Uh, uh, we, we, we eat pizza. Uh, we or we ate? What? We ate pizza and we buy some gifts and we talk together, walk together. Okay, Carmen, we buy some gifts? Yes. Remember, it's the past. Uh, both. Good, excellent. We bought some, some, gi some gifts and we talked, no, we walked together. Oh, yes, now I remember you. Okay, excellent. All right, go ahead and choose another person, somebody who hasn't passed. Okay, I'm going to choose Nubia Araceli. Nubia, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay. Hi. 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 I know you from somewhere. She ignored me. <laughs> no, sorry, Nubia, is it, uh, I don't know, are you having te technical difficulties? It's typical for the beautiful girl. <laughs> oh no, she's not ignoring you. Nubia, maybe it, can you put the microphone a little bit closer? I don't know, because we can't hear you very well. It's like very, very far away. <laughs> mm. 
Um, Nubia, you need to turn on your microphone because it doesn't look like you are you have it on. Okay, what we can do is maybe choose another partner while Nuvia eh, works out her her technical difficulty, okay? Okay, eh, let me see, Barbara. Okay. Hi, don't I know you from somewhere? No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. You don't remember me, but last week eh, we worked to together and we watched TV and we oh. go, went to go to the shopping market. We go? Go. we go to the market. Remember, we this went, is the past. We went, uh -huh, very good, good, good. We went to the market together. Oh yes, now I remember you. Okay, that's it. Okay, wonderful. All right, go ahead. Let's continue. Go ahead, Barbara, find, find another partner. Okay, Daniel Aquino. Hello, Barbara, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Hi, John, I know you from somewhere. No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. You don't remember me, but last weekend we met uh, we met in Apaneca and we had um, a cup of coffee together. Oh yes, now I remember you. Perfect. <laughs> All right, good, wow. Okay, so you, you met in Apaneca, my goodness, wow, okay. <laughs> All right, and, and there was coffee involved too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Daniel. Find someone who has not participated yet. Jose Jose Granados. Hello. Hi. Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I don't remember you. You don't remember me? But last weekend we. We were in the nice club and we and we drank a lot and we were there together. Oh yes, now I remember you. <laughs> okay, Jose. <laughs> All right, Jose. <laughs> Find someone else. Okay, I think. It only remains Gracia because Nubia, I think she has problems. Okay, go for it. Okay. Um, hi, uh, don't I know you from somewhere? No, I'm sorry. I don't remember you. You don't remember me? But last weekend uh, we went out to buy some shoes. Also, uh, we watch a series uh, that some friend recommend me, and you help me to study it uh, for a sooner exam. Oh, yes, now I remember you in the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, so you, you were really helpful, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> I get paid for that help. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Nuvia, are you there? Can you hear us? Can you activate your, your microphone? Hi. Wonderful. Hi, Nuvia. Okay. Uh, let's try with Grace. So Grace, go ahead and and uh, have your conversation with Nuvia. Okay. Okay. Uh, should I 
should I start or, or, or Nubia yeah, will? Yeah, you start. You go ahead and start and Nubia will be letter B. Ah, okay, yeah. And hi, don't I know you from somewhere? No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. You don't remember me? But last weekend, um, we went to, because I already said the, the three ones that I uh, think was thinking, but um, but last weekend uh, we went to um, to uh, to to trekking yeah. to trekking to El Bocaron, and and then we uh, we go we went um, forget uh, for uh, uh, hanging out with our friends. Oh, yes. No, I remember you. I don't know if that, that is correct, teacher. <laughs> Go trekking. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. But remember, uh, it's in the past. So it's not go trekking, it would be? Yeah, you're right. Uh, we went trekking. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. OK. All right, Nuvia, um, who was the first person that started? Was I it, think it was me and uh, Jesus and me. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, go ahead, Nuvia, and you can you can tell me yours. Okay, so I will be your partner. <clears throat> Josue. No, 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 yet. you're because everybody has passed. You can go ahead and tell me. I'm going to be your partner. So, Novia, you can start with saying, Hi, don't I know you from somewhere? Novia, are you there? You can, can you can open up your microphone. Okay, I think she had again the technical difficulties. Okay. All right, it's okay, not a problem. All right, the 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 reason why we did this activity one was because yeah, there were some things that, you know, sounded a little bit funny when you say that, you know, you did it with someone else, right? Um, you know, you just have a little bit of fun. But also to trust you um, how uh, you're doing with um, the simple past, right? Remember that uh, we always, when we're talking about something that we did on the weekend, uh, most likely we're going to be talking about the simple past, right? Actually, that's our objective for today. So let's take a look at what our objective is today. Uh, let me see who can help me. Um, Josue, could you help me read the objective? Uh, yes. Um, at the end of this class, participants will practice using the present perfect and the simple past. Excellent. Okay, very good. So if you notice there, we have the simple past, right, which is what we have been practicing today uh, with that activity. We want I wanted to check how you were doing with the simple past. One of the verbs that is very that I that I find many people forget about is go. Right? What's the passive go? When? when? Exactly. So remember, I went in the past, not I go. Okay. So I, I know that went is very different from go, but always remember the past of go is went, right? The past of um, eat is ate and so on. Okay. All right, guys. So the first thing, uh, before we continue though, um, there was something that I told you guys on when was it? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Uh, before you guys um, 
before we left for the class, like before, like the end of the class, we went over the review of the midterm. And um, one of the things that we were looking at was um, the reported the reported speech. And I told you guys not to complete everything of the reported speech because there were some uh, questions involving reported questions and we hadn't really seen that part. So let's take a look at that right now, okay? Um, so reporting questions. I would like, let's see who hasn't helped me to read. Um, let's have Carmen. So, so, so Carmen, could you read the first question for me? Just the question, the one in black. Will you help me? Mm -hmm. What goes next? Can you hear me? Yeah, you. Yeah, we can hear you. Will you help me? Uh huh. Will you help me? And what? What's after that? You ask me. Okay. Good. You will you help me. me? You asked me. Very good. Thank you very much, Jesus. Okay, so will you help me? You asked me. So that is a direct question. Okay, this part right here is a direct question. It's exactly what the person asked. Okay, now if you notice, the answer to this question is going to be yes or no. So will you help me? Yes, I will. Will you help me? No, I won't. Okay, so it's going to be a yes or no question. When we have a yes or no question and you are reporting that question, what you're going to do is you're going to use the word if, okay, if. Although it's also possible, I'm gonna put it here, to use the word whether. But the word whether is not very common, okay? I'm actually gonna. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. Sorry, it's not that it's not common. It's it's a little more informal, let's say. Let me put, pull this up so you can see it better. Okay, so it's a little bit more formal to say whether, but it's also possible to use it. So you can say, "You asked me if or whether I." would help you, okay? Notice that we are doing the exact same thing I taught you before. What is the passive will? Anybody? What's the passive will? Would. Would, exactly. Would. That's fine. Over here we have would, okay? So you asked me if or whether I would help you, okay? So remember, remember class that it, we have to say you because when we when the original question says will you help me the me refers to you okay so you say you asked me if or whether i would help you okay one or the other not it's not if whether it's if i would help you or whether i would help you sounds good Okay. Any questions so far? No. no. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right, good. However, most of the questions that, well, or better said, no, not most of the questions, but many of the questions that we ask are not yes or no questions. Sometimes they're information questions. And with information questions, you have question words. Can you guys rem remind me what, what are the question words? Why? Why, mm hmm What else? Where? Where? Who? Who? When? When? When, uh-huh. Why? Why? Which? Which, what, how, even whose, right? Okay, so those are question words. A lot of the questions that we ask are more like information questions. So when we ask information questions, instead of using the word if or whether, we use the same question word, okay? 
So let me see who can help me. Um, let's have Nubia, can, can you hear me? Okay, are you able to, to open up your microphone now? Hi. Hi, Nubia. Okay, great. Would you do me the favor of reading the second question? The direct speech of the second question. Where are we going to go? They ask. Thank they you, ask. Nubia. Yeah, up to there. Very good. Okay, where are we going to go? That's the exact question question that they asked, right? Those are the exact words. Now, what we're gonna do when we are reporting the question is we're gonna start again with they asked, right? Okay, so they asked, and then what we're gonna do is the same, we're gonna keep the same. If here, let me just draw here. I think it'll be easier if I draw. If here I have where, then here I'm going to continue using where. Okay. okay. It's only here that it's different because here it's a yes or no question, right? When you start with with uh, an auxiliary like will, uh, will have are okay. Those model auxiliaries, um, or sorry, model auxiliaries or. Um, any kind of uh, auxiliary, then in that case, you're going to go in, you're going to be using if or whether. Okay. But in the case that we're using a question word like where, we're going to keep it. Okay. So they asked where they were going to go. Okay. The reason, the reason why we use they were going to go. Okay, it's because if you notice here, we have R. Okay, are going to go, which is the future be going to. Okay, so here we're going to be using the same, but in the past. The past of what R is were, right? We're going to go. Okay. Um, yeah, and the we changes to they, okay? Because uh, when when they say, where are we going to go? They asked. The we, then we understand is talking about they. So they asked where they were going to go. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes? Yes, it does. Okay, wonderful. Okay, good. And finally, the last one, um, let me have, see who's gonna help me. Um, Barbara, how about if you help me, Barbara, with the question? Okay. Where can we know? Ask where we know. Okay, good. When, mm -hmm. Yes, uh huh. Go ahead. I I asked when we could know. Thank you. Okay. If we could know. Thank you. Yes, wonderful. Okay, so um, so again, here we have a question word, and the question word is when. Okay. And then we're going to continue using the word when over here. It's going to be the same. And what is the pass of can? Good. Exactly. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit darker because I'm not sure if you guys can see it. So the pass of can is good. That's we're going to use good. Right, and uh, this is going to keep be uh, the same, right? Because when it says, "When can we know?" I asked. Um, well, 
the when the sorry the the we we're going to continue um, using it right because it, I'm I'm including myself right that's why I continue using we okay does that make sense for everybody yes yes any, any questions yes no no okay all right guys in that case i'm gonna stop sharing here and what i want you guys to do right now i'm going to get you to create um three questions okay so any questions about anything at all okay uh you can use um yes or no questions or information questions it's up to you you decide okay but in your notebook right now i want you to write three questions Are we ready? You have three questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do then, I'm going to be dividing you guys into, um, into breakout rooms and you're going to be reporting, or better said, you're going to be telling your partner what the question is, okay? So you're gonna be asking your partner the question. 
And then what your partner's gonna do is report the question from what they hear, okay? Then they're going to do the, you're, you're gonna be opposite, right? You're gonna switch. Then your partner's gonna give you one question and you have to report the question. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, so yeah. remember, it's always going back, right? So anything that the person asks, if they're using the simple present, the same, the same uh, rule applies. You have to go to the simple past. If the person is using the present progressive, you gotta go to the past progressive. If the person is using will, you have to use would and so on, okay? So always you have to go back shift. That's called back shifting. It means to go back in time in, with, the, with the tense that they're using, okay? So I'm going to divide you guys. Um, you need the screenshot. Um, yeah, I can. I can send you a screenshot. Uh, just that. Yeah, Nubia, I can send you the the, the screenshot. But um, just give me a moment, and I'll see if I can do that. Okay. Because unless somebody else has has taken like a screenshot, other than that, just I will do it. But just give me a little bit of time. Okay. Um, where are these? Oh, they're there. Okay. Okay, let me see. I have eight students. Okay, so we'll do it in four groups. Ah, okay. You ask me where where she would be the next month. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one. Okay. When can you help me with my homework? Okay, that one should be, you ask me when uh, could I help you with your homework? When? When what? Where I? Uh-huh, when I. When I, uh-huh. When I could help you with your homework. Sure. Very right. good, guys. Uh, any questions that you guys want to ask before I leave? I don't think so. No. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. The number three, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Joshua, you know, she Who was? Hi, teacher. We have a question. <laughs> Right now, uh, yeah, we were ahead. we were we were talking about this 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 one. Um, the question is, who is your neighbor? So uh, the answer should be, uh, she or he asked me, um, 
who was or is because uh, is <laughs> is difficult because we think should be is for logical but you we have to change it to the past so we have that question for this case yeah that's a that's a very good question grace um the answer is uh both answers are are correct okay uh, grammatically speaking the two forms are correct um one is basically um following the rule of of going back right and, and doing the back shift and that's correct but there's also a rule that I have not mentioned um, I haven't uh, told you guys about the rule is that if the if the question is still valid in the present or in the future you can keep it in the same tense so if you ask for example what are you doing next weekend well I can say she asked me what I was doing next weekend right or uh, um, or what I am doing next weekend. Because the, obviously we're talking about next weekend is in the future. The so future. Um, yeah, so both answers are actually valid. For the purpose of this activity, probably just keep it in the past, okay? But yeah, it's, it's important that you know that. Okay, all right, any other questions you have? No question. No, thank you. Okay, okay great. Okay, well. Which is your question, Josué? Okay. Would you lend me a pen? Number two, where are to go? They asked where, where, I share you uh, the link for the WhatsApp group. Okay. In the chat. Okay, girls, any questions about the the, um, the exercise? Um, do we have to do reporting questions similar like this? Yeah, the idea is to do the reporting question. Yeah, similar to that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Where can we know where we in uh, in future uh, or it doesn't matter. You could do it in the future if you want. It, any tense is fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right, see you soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Can Hola. Questions, girls? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. One of them was, what do you study? She asked me. She asked me, what did I study? Okay. Are, you, are, are you studying English? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, hold on, hold on. She, asked, she said, where did you study? Right? So. No, where do you study? Oh, where do you study? Okay, yes. In that case, yes. The past mm -hmm. where did you study? Yes, correct. Any other questions? Are you studying English? She said, she said that I was studying. Okay, the second sentence. Who are you talking? She said,
Okay, so how was the practice session? Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> you, did you get a chance to report those questions? Sure. Did you understand yeah. how to report the questions or do you still have any doubts? Okay, I'm going to actually address a question that Grace asked me, um, and I think it's important for you guys to know it. Uh, for the sake of this activity, I just I just told you guys to report everything in the past, but there is an exception when you are taught when you're reporting something that is about the present, like something that is always true, um, something that never changes then you don't have to back shift. You can keep it the same. For example, if you say, what is your name? She asked me what my name is. You can say that, okay? Because my name is gonna continue being the same. It doesn't change whether it's in the present, the past and the future, right? It's always gonna be the same. So something that never changes um, or, if, uh, or if a general truth, uh, we, can, we can always keep it in the same struct, in the same tense. Also, if it's about the future, we can also keep it in the same tense. It's also possible. And there's another there's another um, scenario. It's when um, we're reporting immediately. Okay. For example, maybe you say, "What did the teacher say?" Right. In that moment, you say, "Oh, she said that we need to give her um, the we need to write the questions quickly." Okay. So we can use the same tense because it's immediately after that you're reporting. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Excellent. Okay. I just want, yeah, um, on Tuesday, sorry, Thursday, I also explained a little bit about, um, about the, the difference between simple past and um, and the present perfect. But um, I would like to go a little bit more in depth with this. Um, everybody can see this, this uh, slide? Yes. Yes, yes I can see. Good. Yes. Right. Uh, Daniel, can you help me read the first part, this part right here? Sure. Actions computed at an indefinite time. Okay. I I have drawn several portraits. She has swam in the Indian Ocean. Compared, computed in progressive past. Okay, thank you. All right. Actually, I'm going to so that you guys don't confuse. I'm gonna I'm going to eliminate this part so that we don't. We'll talk about that another day. Okay, I will keep it there. All right, so uh, this is a uh, indefinite time. What this means is that we don't know when it happened. Okay, we don't, do you see any time here? Like if I ask you, when did I draw the portraits? Can you answer know. that question? We don't know. We don't know exactly. If I ask you, when did she swim in the Indian Ocean? Last week, two years ago, when she was five years old, when? Definite. Exactly, it's indefinite, we don't know. All we know is that that activity happened, but we don't know when that activity happened. It could have happened yesterday, it could have happened two weeks ago, it could have happened two years ago, or it could have happened when the person was, you know, a baby. It doesn't, we really don't know. And it's really not important. What's important is the action, okay? And that the action is finished, it's complete, okay? So in this case, I have drawn several portraits. We are focusing on the fact that the portraits are complete. That's what we're focusing on. We're not, we really don't care about when it happened. The same thing here. She has swum in the Indian Ocean. 
When did she swim in the Indian Ocean? We really don't care. We care about the activity. We care about the action. The, the action of swimming is finished. It's complete. She did it. She had the experience. Okay. So when something happens, and it's a, it, we don't know exactly when it happened, then we would use the the well we use the structure. What is the name of this structure, by the way? Who remembers the name of this structure? Anybody? What is the name of the structure? Have drawn, has swum. What is the name of that structure? Past perfect? Mm, nope, it's not the past perfect, but you're close. Past participle. Nope. It's not the past perfect because to be past perfect, this would have to say had. But this is have or has. So it's not the past, it's the Present. present. Exactly. It's the present. present. Perfect. It's the present perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, if we're going to be comparing the present perfect uh, with the indefinite time, let's take a look at this part over here. Uh, let's see who hasn't helped me. Jose. Oh, wait a second. I see a new face here, Cecilia. Cecilia, could you help me read this part, please? This part here. Okay. Uh, the, right. the company. Company, company a specific past time with indefinite time. I worked at that company for three years. Completed. I have worked at that company for three years, no complete. Okay, thank you very much. That's another another way that we can use the, pres the present perfect. When we are talking about something that's complete or not complete, right? So if it's complete, uh, we would say that working at the company, well, we finished working there, right? We worked there for three years, but now we don't work there anymore. Therefore, what structure do we use? What's the name of the structure? Simple past. Yes, very good. In the past. Okay, so this is about the past. Good. Okay. So, oh, that's weird. Oh. There's a one on me. There you go. Okay. So this is the past. What past? What is the name of this past? Simple past. Simple, simple past. Very good. This is a simple past. With the simple past, we use it when the action is complete and we know we know a time. We have a specific time. Notice comparing specific time. This one doesn't have specific time. We don't know when this happened. Here we do know when it happened, right? It was four years ago, right? It was four, or sorry, four years. It was four years. So we have a time frame. So in this case, when we have a time frame, then we have to use the simple past. Okay. But when we have a time frame and it's not complete, what are we going to use? Present perfect. We're going to use the present perfect. Exactly. Okay. So if so I'll repeat that again. The difference between this one and this one, because both of them we said that was complete, right? So if you no guys notice, both of them are complete. This one's complete and, and, um, and this one's complete. But the difference is that this one is indefinite time. We don't have a time. And this one, we have a specific time. So if we have a specific time, in that case, and we use the present perfect, in that case, that means that the action is incomplete. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Same questions? No? Okay. No. All right. One more thing I wanted to mention is, the last thing is that when we are reporting um, something that happened, like an experience that happened, or the news, this is very common when, when we hear the news, um, normally the first time that the person mentions the activity, we say it in the, in the, in the present uh, perfect. So you say, for example, um, a, you would say like, um, a, a, a woman was assaulted after um, giving birth to her child in a taxi, okay? <laughs> I'm being very exaggerated, but um, but that's that when you say a woman, a woman has been, a woman has been attacked after giving birth to um, her son in a taxi. Okay, so has been attacked. The first time you mention the action or the, the activity that happened, then we would use the, the past, the, sorry, the present perfect. And after that, when you give details about that activity, then you would also use the simple past. So you'd say, for example, uh, she was in a taxi, um, she was driving in a taxi and then she started feeling um, contractions. Uh, the taxi driver stopped in an alley and the woman had her baby. Okay, so all of those activities that happened, those specific details, we would use in the simple past. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Yes, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. Because I want you to actually to put it into practice. Okay, uh, for homework, you're going to be writing, um, you're going to be writing about some news that you've seen on, on, you know, current events that you've seen either uh, on the internet or on the newspaper, in the newspaper or on TV, anything. And I want you to, um, I want you to give specific um, information about the activity. The first time you mention it, you have to use the present perfect. And then all after that, all of the, all of the uh, details would be in the simple past. Okay. Sounds good, guys. And let's have three three news stories. So in the end, um, you can have anywhere between nine to twelve sentences. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I will send. I will write the the. I will write the um, the homework in the in the group so you guys don't forget. Okay. Any questions? No. No, no question. You sure? No. Sure. Yes, yes, Barbara? Yes. Um, yes, everything's cool. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jesus? All is okay, teacher. Okay, good. Any questions, Are you comments, suggestions, doubts? Okay. No. In that case, guys, well, we're going to, uh, that will be all for today. And I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your evening. I don't know if you guys have had dinner yet, but if you haven't, uh, well, um, enjoy your food. <laughs> okay. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gracias.